I have spent this past year making this, this CD as absolutely as, as good as I can. When we read, we learn the I have spent so much time in the basement of Dave Tuzia's studio making sure that the songs are what I hear in my head because I don't, you know, without a band I can't practice them. While performing in support of Vowels, his first children's album, Steve Elsie noticed that some of his songs resonated with both children and parents. So I thought to myself, okay, on the next one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this dual layer of writing. I'm gonna write a song that I can send out to the families, to the parents, that is like a rock and roll song that they're gonna wanna hear. But I'm gonna disguise it with uh, lyrics that kids are gonna wanna sing to and that me positive messages that they can take away from my show. We are beautiful, inside and out. We have a song called, We Are Beautiful. No, you can't judge a book by its cover. Bullying is a big part of that, and, and whether you're big, whether you're small, it doesn't matter, because inside you're a wonderful person always. It matter the color of your skin. We are crayons in a box. The title track of the CD, Crayons in a Box, um, you know, that's a song about diversity. The song Earth Day on the CD. Here's one that has to do with recycling. Lots of the songs have messages. Some don't. You know, still I want to throw in there some of those songs that are just fun. Chain, chain, blow your whistle as we push on through the heartland. Woo woo! Elsie had fronted local rock bands for over 20 years, but it was the change to children's music that finally helped him achieve a level of celebrity. Playing out a lot and seeing these, these kids all the time, you know, they're looking up to me. I become like a, a little bit of a, you know, I am their rock star. Um, so when I go anywhere, it's neat to see other kids say to their mom, that's Steve Elsie right there, he's right there. And, and, and their mom, typically, or somebody that I know, they look, I always see this, yep, I know him. <laughs> yep, we're familiar with him. We'd like to thank you very much. It's fun to have that happen, and I always make it a point to go over and talk to them, because, you know, I can only put myself in their position. I mean, if I was in their position and I saw you know, a rock star, I was like, oh my God, to meet them is a big experience. Um, and, it, and hopefully it has a lasting impact musically for them. Thank you all so much. Have a great night.